Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Pedal and Barbecue. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with my pellet grill getting hit by lightning and how to replace the ACS controller on a YS640S pellet smoker or a 480 or the YS1500. So we're going to cover those topics. So let's get started. All right, guys, so several weeks ago now, uh, my pellet grill got hit by some lightning. Uh, it's taken a little while to get this video edited because there's lots of parts and pieces to put together as you'll see but um, we had a bad storm had a lot of bad lightning in it I'm sitting in the living room and all of a sudden I hear a really really loud pop and I see a flash out of my uh, living room window outside and so I thought lightning must have hit the big oak tree across the street from our house but Actually, it ended up hitting a huge oak tree two doors down in their backyard. Uh, damaged a lot of their appliances and things like that at their house. Damaged some appliances next door to our house. Um, and also tripped the breaker into our bedroom, our carport. And also, I didn't realize at the time, but that was also the circuit that my pellet grill was plugged into. I made sure that everything was working inside the house, but uh, I didn't really even think about the pellet smoker until a couple days later when I went out to fire it up and there was nothing. So I ended up troubleshooting, making sure there's no fuses that are blown, making sure that it's not the you know electrical cord trying several different types of outlets and the only thing left was the controller and it had fried the controller so I contacted Yoder um, and so this is the first point that I want to make uh, and I'm not saying that this is going to be your experience but I'm just telling you my personal experience I contacted Yoder on a Wednesday morning probably around 9 o'clock a.m. Uh, told him what happened uh, how do I go about getting another controller explained to him that I had some family coming in for the weekend and wanted to get it going if possible uh, by the weekend uh, I expected it to take a couple of days at least but wanted to see well that was Wednesday morning at about 9 a.m. by 11 a.m. Thursday morning there was a controller in my carport already delivered that is absolutely amazing um, and I think one of the reasons is because their parts aren't coming from China they're not waiting on a cargo ship out there waiting to be unloaded the fireboard controllers are made in America and so they had that thing shipped out from Kansas into my carport uh, in Georgia within like 26 hours that was amazing so uh, along with the controller it came with an instruction manual and after going through it this is probably one of the best instruction manuals I've ever used for anything whether it's electronics whether it's putting together something that I bought on uh, Amazon Th these very well done uh, instruction manual so what I've tried to do in this video is put together a video that will help others um, replace their controller and so I've taken screenshots of each step so that you can pause it if you want to to read the step and then I have filmed myself actually doing that step and it goes through the whole instruction manual that way um, there's no talking or anything just got some music playing so you can follow along if you're like me you're a visual person you like watching somebody do it rather than trying to read how to do it um, so I've included both I've included the screenshots of the manual itself and I have videoed myself doing those steps um, so hopefully this helps other people and before you make anybody makes the comment I'm sure they will you know that's why I always unplug my pellet grill I don't ever leave my pellet grill plugged up well, I, I get it, but most people don't cook on their pellet grills as much as I do, which is almost daily. 
So going out there every day, unplugging it, plugging it back in, unplugging it, plugging it back in, I just don't really care to do that. So that's why most of the time my pellet grills are plugged in because I'm always using them. So um, there's that. Anyway, uh, on with the video. I tried to put this video together to where it's going to be helpful and useful and kind of streamline the process of putting this thing together. It start, the, the Yoder started right back up and it performs just like the old controller did, which was perfectly. Right now I've got a spatchcock chicken on there right now and it's purring along like nobody's business. So really happy with the whole experience, really happy with the new controller and the instruction manual that went along with it. So I hope this helps. If you like what you see on this video, Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you appreciate this video, leave us a thanks by hitting that super thanks button at the bottom. We really appreciate that too, and that helps the channel. So let's get on with the video.